Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Oracle Database 23C free developer version on Alma Linux 8 operating system. So here you can see that I already created one Alma Linux 8.7 virtual machine with 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU cores and uh, I have configured the host only adapter. Now let me start this Alma Linux 8.7 to install Oracle Database uh, 23C. Okay, so now after login, I am going to show you something. So first I am showing the disk space. So disk space I am having 28 GB. Okay, so total hard disk uh, size is 40 GB. Among that, uh, 28 GB is available. And uh, RAM, that is memory, 5 GB is available. I can see swap space also, more uh, swap space there. Okay. So, and also I have configured the static IP address for this uh, virtual machine. Okay. So, and one more information, this uh, free database uh, instance will consume only 2 CPU cores and 2 GB RAM only. Even if you have more RAM or more CPU cores, it will consume only 2 CPU cores and 2 GB RAM only. Okay. So, here this is the binaries we are going to install. So, I am highlighting this binaries. These two binaries are Oracle binaries, Oracle database binaries. Okay. So, and these 5 RPMs are dependencies are required by oracle binaries so these dependencies are available in alma linux 8.7 dvd iso file itself no need to download from internet so i have downloaded the downloaded the dependencies from sorry i have copied the dependency file from alma linux dvd okay now let us try to uh, install these rpms so switch as a root user So first step, I am going to install all these uh, dependencies. Okay, so dependencies required by Oracle binaries. So once again, I am saying all these dependencies are available in Alma Linux uh, DVD itself. Now I am installing the Oracle database pre-installed 23 CRPM. Yes, uh, installation is successful. Next, I have installed uh, Oracle Database Free 23C RPM. Yes, okay, In RPM is installed successfully and it's asking something to do. Uh, okay, let me open this uh, Oracle Free 23C conf file. Okay, these are all the default parameters. I am not going to touch this. Let it be as it is. Okay. Okay, it asking us to run this configure command as a root user. Okay. Uh, I am opening the firewall. So I am opening the firewall for the Oracle port 1521 so that you can access the database outside the uh, virtual machine also. That's it. Okay. Now I am going to show you. Go to settings. Details users. Yes, you can see that Oracle user is created automatically after installing the Oracle database 23C RPM. Okay. So, but uh, account is uh, disabled by default. I am enabling the account by providing the password. So, in our previous video, first we create the Oracle user and try to install the RPMs. But in this video, we have installed the RPMs first 
and uh, our closure is created automatically next we are going to uh, configure configure the database using the oracle user okay now i am going to login as a oracle user so this is just to show you that uh, no need to create oracle user uh, by default it will be created once you install the rpm anyway uh, creating one new uh, user that's oracle user is a good habit and oracle is a default user for this uh, oracle database okay so i have login as oracle user in terminal switch as a root user now let me try to uh, run the configure command Yes, so it's asking for the password. Provide the password in alpha numeric. So this will be the global password for Sys system and VDB admin accounts. Yes, so Oracle database configuration is started. Yes, Oracle database configuration is completed. So these are the information that is final information after the database configuration. So note on all the information. So free is the container database uh, name and free PDB is the pluggable database name. So one container database and one pluggable database created by default. Okay. Now let me go to slash opt directory. So here you can see that under Oracle directory all the components are getting installed. Okay. So this is the Oracle uh, hope directory. And inside the bin directory, you can see a lot of executables and shell scripts are there. So we are going to create one environment variable, uh, Oracle Home. And we are going to add this uh, bin directory to the uh, Linux path so that all the executables uh, will be available in the path. Show it and files. Okay, so I am going to edit that dot bash underscore profile of the Oracle user. Yes, so this is the syntax to configure the Oracle uh, home environment variable. So and finally, I'm finally appending the bin directory to the Linux path variable. So make sure that syntax is correct. No typo error. Save the bash profile. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to log off the Oracle user. And once again, I try to log in uh, as Oracle user to enable the profile settings. That is bash profile, I have uh, added environment variable, right? To enable those environment variable, I have logged out and log in once again. So now I am trying to log in to the database access as SSDBA via SQL plus so I am able to log in to the sysassis db account to free database account now let me log in to the pluggable database account so I can able to log in to the pluggable database account also So I can able to log into the pluggable database account also successfully. Okay, now let me show you how to log into the uh, Oracle SQL developer. So I have installed Oracle SQL developer latest edition in host machine, Windows host machine. So from Windows host machine, I am connecting to the Oracle database 23C 
so I am connecting the free free instance now. That is container database I am connecting, so I can able to connect the container database uh, successfully. Now let me try to connect uh, pluggable database instance via SQL developer. So instead of SID, I am giving service name as free pdb1 that is pluggable database name and also I can able to connect to the pluggable database account from SQL developer. So and also I can able to uh, run some query. So these are the basic installation of Oracle database 23C on Alma Linux 8. So we have uh, done basic steps only. So now I am going to show you some post installation ta uh, task. That is after installing Oracle database 23C, I am rebooted the Alma Linux 8.7. Uh, virtual machine. So after restarting, after restarting the operating system, uh, let us see what is going to happen. Okay. So I am logging to the Oracle user account as usual. So login to the terminal. So let me try to connect the free database account as sysassist TBA via SQL plus. So provide the password. Yes, you can see that ORA12541 cannot connect no listener at host. Okay. Which means that Oracle database and Oracle listener is down. So we need to restart the Oracle database and Oracle listener manually. For that what I am doing, I have opened the bash profile. So I am setting one environment variable oracle underscore sid equal to free. Okay, save the profile settings. Now go to the terminal. So I am typing the command source dot dot bash underscore profile source dot bash underscore profile so this command will load the latest profile changes okay so this command will load the latest profile changes no need to log off okay so without logging off you can enable the profile latest profile changes okay now next step i am logging as a slash user sk plus slash as tba so here you can see one message connected to one idle instance which means that Oracle database is down. So I am starting up the database using the command startup. So this will start the Oracle free instance. Along with that uh, free PDB one that is pluggable database instance also will get started. Yes. So database started, connections are open. Now next step is I am going to check the Oracle listener is running or not. So Oracle listener is also down. So we need to start the Oracle listener also. So Oracle listener is a like an interface between Oracle database and third party software. Okay. So you can see that Oracle listener is started. So LS and RCTL start is the command uh, used to start the oracle listener so you can see that oracle listener is listening on the port 1521 okay so we have started the oracle database and oracle listener now let me try to log in uh, to the free database account as a sysas tba okay Yes, I can able to log in now. Okay, let me try to connect to pluggable database account also.
Yes, I can able to log into the pluggable database account also. Select uh, star from tab. Okay. So everything is fine. So now we have learned how to start the Oracle Lister and start the Oracle database after the rebooting, after the restart of the operating system. Okay, now I am going to show you how to stop the Oracle Lister and how to shut down the Oracle database. So first we need to stop the Oracle Lister. So LSNR CTL stop is the command stop the Oracle listener. Then only we need to stop the uh, Oracle database. Okay. So Oracle listener I have stopped. Now let me stop the Oracle database. Once again I am logging to the account SQL plus slash assist is DBA. Shutdown immediate. Shutdown immediate is the command which will shut down the database instance immediately. Yes, so Oracle instance is shut down. So these are the post installation steps uh, we have seen. So we have learned how to start and stop the database and start and stop the Oracle listener. And also we have learned how to set the Oracle SID environment variable in profile. So finally we have learned how to install Oracle Database 23C free developer version on Alma Linux 8 operating system.